Hello, Cypher's community, and welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be going over the balance changes to the IS-4 line, which are the IS-4, the ST-1, the KV-4, the KV-3, and the KV-4K, also known as the KV-4 Brazilla, and also the KV-4 Krosky. Um, where is it? This tank. Yeah, these tanks. Same tank different names one has a paint job on it anyway so yeah i'm going to be going over this if you want to see the actual website of this then the link will be in the description below but let's go ahead and go check out the changes to the tanks so i have put it like this because it's a lot easier to like look at the changes of the tanks so the first thing we're going to be looking at at the is4 also i do want to mention that everything that was changed on these tanks were all buffs absolutely buffs every single thing was a buff no nurse just buffs and a couple removed guns here and there that were not really that good Anyway, let's look at the IS-4. So, the IS-4 got a reload buff from a 12 to 11, which made its DPM go up about nearly 200 damage, which is actually really nice. 2,200 to 2,398. Aim time went from 2.9 to a 2.6, which is great. Eh. Um, also, I do want to go over the things that... They changed. So, they removed the stock gun, which is the 122mm D slash D25T, which is the same gun that's on the KV-3, the KV-4, and the IS. Basically, it's the upgraded gun of those two tanks. Also, this gun was really fun just to load full height explosives and, and just go out there and do massive amounts of damage or just watch people be like why why are they using that gun do they not know there's a upgraded gun but yeah it was very fun i made a couple of videos on it so also the tank is now elite with as soon as you buy it and they also changed the dispersion while moving and rotating the tank from 0.25 to 0.20 so now let's talk over the armor buffs okay so i've been going over been skipping the armor so I can go over it last and now we're just gonna go to the tank GG so we're here on tank GG so the first thing they did was they changed the roof armor from 30 millimeters to 45 millimeters so sorry so that would be this plate right here it went from 35 to 45 this is tank GG and so this is the only way I can actually show you the box so this plate right here went from 35 to 45 millimeters. On PC, it actually went to like a 50 something. Yeah, 52. So this means guns from a, this means they can't get overmatched from anything from 91 millimeters and over, but nine, 136 millimeter guns and over can actually overmatch that plate. But you don't really see too many of those. The next thing they did was make the upper plate, this upper plate right here from 140 millimeters to 160 millimeters. So yeah, this plate right here on PC is actually 155 millimeters. So what you're seeing right here is actually better on console because this is 155 on PC and it's 160 on console. They also bought this plate right here the driver's hatch from 210 millimeters to 240 so this is actually right this is the effect of armor that you're actually going to be seeing here because pc has the same buff on the is4 yeah 265 millimeters of penetration also when you angle the tank remember this is supposed to be stronger on console because it's five millimeters more and right there when you actually side screw the tank it that's really nice now. So, yeah. Side scraping. Angling the armor like it should be. You're going to have a really hard time pinning the tank. Except for right there. Anyway. To the next tank. So, the next tank that got buffed was just the ST-1. Which, the ST-1 is a really good tank. Already. 
And that's why they didn't really change much on the ST1. So they only changed its three guns. I also do want to mention that every buff that I'm showing you with the guns for the KV-3 for all of these tanks is using it fully upgraded with the fully upgraded turret. If you have the stock turret, it changes the values to make it worse. But on the with the upgraded turret, it makes it be the best. Which most people run the upgraded turret. There's no reason not to because upgraded turrets are usually the better thing. But anyway, the final gun on the IS-4, uh, the ST-1, like the upgraded gun, the gun that you should be using, got an aim, got a aim time buff from a 3.4 to a 2.8. The middle gun, which is the middle gun, which is the BL-9, got a DPM buff, reload buff, and a rate of fire buff, and an aim time buff. Also, this gun is 440, this gun's 390, and also the stop, stop gun got upgraded from a DPM buff, reload, rate of fire, aim time, and accuracy. So that's nice. When you're grinding this tank for its first time and you have it stock, now it's going to be better when it's stock. So yeah, let's go look at the KV-4. Now, the KV-4, its three guns got changed and it also got armor buff. So let's look at the KV-4's armor buff, which is, it would, the turret armor went from 180 to 220. Now on PC, it is the exact same on console. So the armor that you're looking at is the same as that on console. So went from 180 to 220, which is, it's okay. I mean, that's, it's flat. It's very flat. So we're just looking at tanks. If you have 220 millimeters of penetration, then you're going through this tank. I mean, it makes it hard for tier sixes and tier sevens to go through. But when you find tier nines and tier tens, it's gonna have an easy time pinning it. So, so you're not supposed to be facing in the cave before, like this. You're supposed to be angling it about like that. But still, it's still it's better than it was. But this is still a weak point. But would also would help all of these tanks out. that are getting armor buffs that would help out every tank in the game. Is if the armor changes got reverted. So. Armor would actually mean something again. But anyway, also when you're side scraping against a corner, like a building, imagine enough there's a line. That's some really good armor right there. Side scraping. Remember, this is a like side scraping line. So side scrape, angle, angle all the time with this line. And it's, it's decent. It makes it pretty decent. Load premium rounds. Then, hello, we points. But anyway. To the next tank, which is the KV-3. Now, the KV-3 is actually a really good tank, even before the buffs. Like, its rate of fire is really good. So, also, the KV-3 has a lot of guns. It has five in total. It, the only changes it got was to its guns. So, the upgraded gun got a aim time buff from a 3.4 to a 2.8. Accuracy from a 0.46 to a 0.4. The fourth gun... Got a DPM and aim time and accuracy buff. The third gun only got an accuracy buff. The fourth, uh, the second gun got a aim time buff and an accuracy buff. And the 85 millimeter gun, which is the stock gun, got a DPM buff, rate of fire buff, reload, aim time, and accuracy buff. And this is actually the DPM right here. I didn't mean to actually put it there. It was supposed to go there. So, oops. And they also removed the other 85mm gun on this tank. Now, let's go check out the other tank that got buffed. Well, this is two, actually. It's called the KV-4K, but it's called the KV-4 Kloski? Kloski? Or the KV-4 Verzilla. Now, the KV-4 Verzilla actually got a lot of... A lot of upgrades so let's actually go over it so it got a dpm buff by, from 1699 to 1827 
which is actually a really nice, nice buff. It got an aim time buff, accuracy buff, and its mobility got better by terrain resistances. Also, its hit point went from 1,500 to 1,650. Now, the frontal armor got buffed from 140 to 180. Now, what I'm about to show you, it's it's not the entire tank that got buffed from 140 to 180. Here, I'll show you real quick. So, the plate that we're talking about is this plate. This was 140, now it's 180. And yes, this is PCs, KV4, for Brazilla. Everything is identical to console, except this. 140. This is 140 millimeters of armor. On console, it's now 180. <laughs> That's 40 millimeters more. So basically, it's as thick as this plate, because this is 180. Used to, the weak point was this plate. Now they're both the same. So this plate's actually stronger than this plate now. Just imagine, side scraping. Like, this gets pretty decently strong. This does too, even with 140 millimeters. But imagine 40 millimeters more. And it jumps up. And it jumps up. Like, this tank is really good at side scraping. And it also is now it's fast. And, yeah. That's pretty decently good. Especially against tier 6 and 7. Imagine off 40 millimeters more. What that would do. It would bump it up to like 200. 220. That right there. That would be pretty hard to pin. So yeah. That's it for this video. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All three minutes are fish because of always not. And peace out. See ya.